future looks promising for neurodivergent kids already. IIT Madras in Chennai conducted an inspiring competition as part of Shastra, its annual tech festival, which is world's largest student-managed college festival, showcasing innovative ideas for creating toys that cater to neurodivergent children. The event called Cognify, a vertical under Shastra, created a platform for students from across India to present prototypes of games for autism, dyslexia and ADHD kids. Our game name is Touch Quest. It's a maze game, but a little different. Our primary user group is ADHD and autism, right? So we did research on them, and they like something like they like to fidget. We took that part of them, and we are like, we should make something that they will enjoy. So it has to be fidgeting, something fidgeting, something interesting, and you know, it should make keep them focused on it. So we developed texture cards which is like feelable texture and it's colorful so they get engaged with it we have reward system as well to keep them like on to the game every step they go they get a reward uh, the research behind this theory the main inspiration is temple grandin's case so temple grandin is a very famous uh, renowned animal husbandry uh, phd so she has autism she has autism in fact so that shows that how people with autism can reach great heights of nurtured right so uh, she built a hug machine she needed people with uh, children with autism they don't even need physical touch but they need to be held by the environment so th this is kind of that the child can be themselves in the in that zone it is their safe space they can do whatever they want in there it's safe play uh, you will know that nowhere in the tent the color red has been used because uh, no triggering stimulation is there the zones can be covered to avoid overstimulation and we also use a lot of psychological theories like Donald Winnicott's holding by the environment theory and Piaget's pre-operational stage to make these so it's appropriate for kids aged 2 to 7 and it is targeted mainly for autism spectrum disorder. Astro, an innovative space-inspired bath toy, transforms mundane bath time into an exciting space-themed experience for neurodivergent kids. The toy uses suction hooks to attach securely to walls accommodating the height of children. When water flows through Astro, its components spin, capturing kids' attention. This dynamic interaction introduces basic concepts of space such as planets and the solar system. This initiative also addresses a crucial gap in India's toy industry, the lack of toys designed for cognitive enhancement that cater specifically to neurodivergent children. The students who presented their prototypes say that they underwent scientific research, innovative design studies and industry collaboration to create impactful and inclusive toys. The cost of these toys range from 400 rupees to 3000 rupees. If you look at things, toys that make children think, it's mostly written based or reading or puzzles, things like that. But there are many cognitive disorders like dyslexia, ADHD, autism, where the children struggle with those things and they need help in different ways. So that was our motive to starting this competition, to get toys that are scientifically backed to help improve cognitive enhancement while being adaptable for neurodivergent children. To achieve this goal, Rewire partnered with the Indian Association for Child and Adolescent Mental Health. Judges evaluated toy concepts based on two key aspects one on neuroscience perspective and the other on design and marketability. What they are looking at is something new, not like redesigning what is already there. Um, for example, um, one of the products that we saw about uh, uh, dyslexic children learning alphabets. So a lot of people give alphabets as you know cards and then you look at them, but they have looked at uh, how those alphabets can be in 3D and their associated color and also this concept of synthetic learning so this is something new, uh, beyond what you see, what is already there in the market. And similarly, there are uh, other interesting reward systems they have introduced into the play experiences, which other people are not doing. So which shows that there is so much more scope to do it. Even uh, uh, experimenting with sustainable material, one of the mats, they have used bamboo uh, as a material for making those to reduce the cost. The Indian market currently does not have its own products, but yes, the Indian market has adapted very well to the products which were already there and they have incorporated the, uh, those products in the therapy and 
teaching uh, methods for the special needs children. But I think the time has now come that we need to actually develop products for the specific uh, need.